What's going on guys, World Watch Else back again with I know you guys hope you're all having a lovely day slash Eden, especially after last night's win 4-0 away from home in Russia against FC Krasnodar in the Champions League second game in the group stage, yeah. I was gonna do a certain video like, you know, penalty takers, uh, the formation, etc, blah blah blah. Then the press conference news came out today, there was an update, 2 p.m. UK time, and I thought, you know what? We're gonna have to push that to tomorrow. Uh, we're gonna be speaking about some of it in this video, but mainly about press conference from Frank Lampard, summarizing it, give my opinions. But the main topic of this video will be about the penalty taker. Who should it be? Georgino, Kaivertz, or Timo Werner? We'll get straight into all of that. So, guys, if you can, smash that like button. Let's get at least 300 likes. It's free, man. Help me out. Um, YouTube has been very, very difficult for me in October. Hopefully, the channel can bounce back. The more likes, the more helps out this channel, as I just said. Subscribe for new here, hit the one notification, we just hit 18k. Can we get 20k before the end of the year? Hopefully you guys can get me there. Um, and yeah, make sure you comment on each topic I speak about in the comments down below. Let me know any questions you want me to answer tomorrow before the game on Saturday as well, which I'll include in tomorrow's video. So we'll get straight into, into the injury news first of all. Thiago Silva is fit, he was rested of course, he didn't travel with Chelsea and now we have him ready to play against Burnley. He should be coming back straight into the starting lineup of course. Um, Kepa is outside doing a lot of work, he's come back from the shoulder injury. Now many fans are saying, you know, don't come back. What's the point? Let's keep the negativity out. We know Mendy's you know, I was going to say world class, but for me, three clean sheets is that world class for me, you know what I mean? It's been a very, very long time. I think it's been about five or six, six days since we had three clean sheets. Thank you, CFC Zippy, for that tweet, of course. Um, outstanding stats, basically, for Mendy. He's coming, he's settled, he looks very, very good, in my opinion, and he's a keeper that we really, really needed at this club. Of course, he'll be playing every single game, 99.9% .9 of the games. But any cup games or something, maybe Kepa can get his confidence back or if he can go out on loan, get a confidence back. Because he has a very, very long contract with Chelsea, of course. So we have to think about the future. But look, keep out the negativity. Hopefully he can bounce back as well. Now, of course, you know, there is some tiredness in the group right now. They're travelling from Russia. They've come back very, very early. And now they've got to go to Burnley on Saturday, of course. They're probably going to go out on Friday night, maybe. Hopefully... You know, you guys know better than me, basically. Sometimes they travel the night before they set the hotel, blah, blah, blah. So we shall see what happens there. Hopefully they get through it. There's going to be a lot of rotation. Just like Frank Lampard said, we've got games every two to three days. So it's going to be very, very busy. You're going to be seeing players come in and out. Two or three players different every single game. So don't expect the same lineup every game. Now, Hakim Ziyech's uh, highlight was pointed out by Frank Lampard, the main one, okay? I don't know if you saw the goal when he took the shot and Frank Lampard's, you know, on the touchline watching it properly. For me, that's beautiful scenes, man. Absolute beautiful scenes. I'm very happy for Hakim Ziyech. I'm hoping he can push on from this and we can see a lot more magic from this player. I felt he had a very, very good game. Even the first half, when everyone was doing average, I felt Hakim Ziyech, for me, was standing out a lot. I'm looking forward to this player this season. I don't know if you've seen the Instagram post from Kurt Zuma um, saying Habibi to Hakim Ziyech. You know, the personalities... It feels like there's a lot of you know chemistry between the players, like Carvers and Ben Chilwell. We've seen Tammy Abraham, Mason Mount, of course. You know, the list goes on. Basically, they get along well together, and this is what we need in this Chelsea football club. Okay, we need the players to get along with each other. Even if you're not playing, the competition is strong, high, and you guys can push each other, and that's what we want to see at this beautiful club. There's massive more improvements need to be made, of course. In the first half, it was very, very boring and shocking. We could have been one-one. We could have been two-one down, maybe, but. I feel like the final 15 minutes, which we'll be talking about tomorrow, the formation, for me, 4 3, three is something that we should be considering. I've got a bit of a controversial one, but we'll do that in my predict 11 when we talk about it, of course. So, yeah. Frank Lampard also hits back at journalist Jesse Marsh, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that properly, uh, comments by saying he never doubted Pulisic like he might have suggested. Now, of course, Frank Lampard said, Christian Pulisic has incredible talent and like many players in his homeland, a great desire to prove and get the best from his ability. He found his feet very, very quickly and his performance last year was massively impressive. I never doubted Christian. Now, of course, there was comments saying that Frank Lampard was already doubting uh, Christian Pulisic saying, fans are all saying that if he was at Liverpool, he could have been settled in already. We could be talking about the best player in the league or something. Look, this time, he's young, he's growing. We've seen what he can do. We know two or three defenders are stuck to him now because, okay, they might not. He might not be as good as Eden has on his prime, but you know he's showing glimpses of that level. Okay, and I feel like he can push to that responsibility and he can take us to that next level and he can score a lot more goals and assists. In my opinion, Eden Hazard, 
he had to be a bit more selfish in my opinion. I felt like he was too nice. Like he could have shot so many times, he could have scored many goals, but he just didn't push himself there. Not saying that he was not a greatest player, talent wise. Obviously I prefer Zola, because that's my guy. You know, I love Zola. I feel like them two are the same. But yeah, those two players for me were the best talent wise. Of course, Frank Lampard, Drogba, all these guys come in front in terms of overall what they've done for Chelsea. But Eden Hazard for me, if he was a bit more greedy, could have been seen a lot more. So Pulisic for me has to push, has to keep pushing. And I feel he can do it at Chelsea. When he came on, he changed the game, man. The chemistry, the the fluid of football, it was absolutely immense. I know it's just FC Krasnodar, also we shouldn't take it too, too serious. But the confidence between these players will improve if we keep playing like this. And this is what we need to see at Chelsea Football Club. Okay, so... Uh, Lampard's expecting a very very tough game at Turf Moor despite our two big wins against Burnley last season which is true he watched them cause Tottenham uh, he watched them cause a lot of problems for Tottenham on Monday now he knows how much of a good manager Sean Dyche is of course uh, yeah you know that no I flopped the voice I flopped the voice cut it out cut it out you know when you're not recording you can actually do the voice and everything or it's in your head that you could do it but I just flopped it man and the worst thing is I'm not even going to edit it sometimes you've got to take L's in it you know what I mean but yeah, um, Burnley is going to be a very, very difficult team. They play very defensive. Um, they part the boss, try to play counter. They long balls, long kicks, whatever you want to describe it, basically. You know the West Ham, like Sam Analyst, like that type of football. Um, and if you get a goal, then maybe you can open up the play, of course. And that's what we need. We need a very, very early goal. Remember, it's away from home. I know there's no fans. Maybe we play a bit better away from home. We shall see very soon. But well, hopefully Chelsea can get that, of course. Um, Lampard finishes by recognising it will be a season like no other with impact and muscle injuries a regular issue. The boss thinks not having five subs this season doesn't help managing the player at this extreme time. Okay. Now in Champions League, I think we have five subs. Um, I think other leagues are keeping five subs, but the Premier League are not keeping And I don't understand why. Apparently it's seen as other teams that have better quality as an advantage as they have a better bench. Maybe that's true, but you know the top teams will always be the top teams. The Man City, the Liverpool, the Chelsea, the Tottenham, United, Arsenal. Wait, Arsenal? Maybe I take that back. Um, you know what I mean? That the top teams out there will always have that better quality. It's just how it is, if you know what I mean. So I don't know. I felt like Frank Lampard was right. I think we do need five subs, especially if we're playing every two or three days. We don't know what's going to be happening in the world. Um, you know, Cristiano Ronaldo couldn't play against Barcelona. He called it BS for the test that he had, the PCR or something like that. Um, he said he's fine, he's fit, he's, ha he's healthy, he's happy, he should be playing. And, you know, these are the rules that can come in to Chelsea for any player and they will be in trouble, which is why Petacek has been registered as a Chelsea goalkeeper, just in case if something bad and sad happens in the squad, of course. So, I totally understand where Front Lampard is coming from. Now, the penalty takers that I want to talk about, Jorginho, record, 23 out of 26, 88.46 success rate. Timo Werner, 14 out of 17, 82.35 success rate. Kai Havertz, 13 out of 13, 100%. Who do you think should be our Chelsea's number one penalty taker? Now, got these stats from Numi Football. Newman, of course, my guy. You, you guys probably know his analysis on YouTube. I don't even need to tell you to go subscribe and watch him. You lot probably subscribed to him already. He's a top man. Um, but if you want to see these type of stats, go ahead to his Twitter. He's got all these stats every single game. And for me, it's tough. Okay, it's tough. I know Timo Werner can just smack it in, but, you know, his... He's got the same amount of miss as Jorginho. Now, of course, Jorginho has missed two already this season. I think he's on a 60% conversion rate, which is question marks, of course. But are we just being a bit reactionary and asking too, too quickly? Or do we just want Werner to score goals? Or we just don't like Jorginho? For me, you know, if it makes a huge difference in missing, okay? If we draw, if we lose, the question marks need to be asked. But if we win 4-0, okay, I'm sure it's just a one-off. It's not like the keeper read it and he missed he literally just hit the post it's just one of those ones though he just misses you feel what i mean so it's a shame but i feel like for now georgina should be the man but we have to assess it game by game if penalties come and we miss you know if he keeps missing then of course question marks will be asked and team of can take it but i feel like top two ones that will be taking it is georgina and team of which frank lampard has confirmed these two guys will be the penalty takers so we shall see very soon what happens but he does have confidence in Jorginho still but guys that's everything I'm going to be speaking about I want to hear your thoughts on that topic um, I'm going to be giving you guys the predicted lineup tomorrow with some formation talks as well if you guys can 
tune in tomorrow smash that like button let's get at least 300 likes subscribe if you're new here hit the notification tune in daily and you don't know how it goes man 10 minute gang we're always here hopefully this channel bounce back or watch else guys i'm out peace